Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Anthony, here to give you guys another movie review. This time it is for the film Endangered Species. So guys, I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to give you a synopsis right now. I'm going to give it to you right now because we got to talk about it. Now this is straight from IMDb, you know, I'm just going to give you two straight. This is what they have. Endangered Species is an intense action-packed survival adventure about a wealthy American family who traveled to the vast African wilderness of Kenya, hoping for a dream vacation filled with excitement, bonding, and a chance to fix their growing rifts within their family. But when the safari vehicle is attacked by a rhino protecting her calf, the family is left stranded miles from help and their dream vacation turns into a nightmare struggle for survival. Now that synopsis I just gave you was very intense and you probably came away from that thinking that this is going to be a crazy movie. There's going to be a lot of drama, action, suspense, and you know animals attacking people. I mean the movie's called Endangered Species and in the trailer they're showing you like animals are attacking people. But no, this isn't what this movie is at all. This movie is a kind of character study of a family, a torn family, and they have problems like every other family has problems. And they have to feel out those problems while running away from hyenas. And the hyenas are just laughing at them the whole time because that's what hyenas do. And there's barely any action, you know, there's nothing, there's just a whole bunch of daddy issues and mommy issues. and apparently a dad that doesn't accept his son being gay but kind of does and before i want to go any further into this movie and you know give my review my honest thoughts this movie has been dedicated to people that are helping protect animals like rhinos and elephants who are endangered species in africa against poaching and this movie is just a dedication to those people that are trying to protect the animals and i totally 100 percent support that and encourage that i love it it's great but you could have done a movie just exactly like that that was way better than this so let's get into endangered species and let me tell you what i liked and i didn't like about the movie as you can already tell there's a lot of stuff i didn't like about the movie but what i actually did like about the movie is that it's actually pretty well directed the scenes and the shots are really well done i was kind of surprised because it kind of looked like a low budget film to me probably is a low budget film but they did a good job of not making it look like i could totally see this like being in the theaters like you go into a theater and you seeing a trailer to it and you're like oh that's you know it's a hollywood movie but sadly that's where all my positive uh you know feelings thoughts and dreams go because the rest of this movie is terrible it's bad and like i said before you know i am all for what the message that this movie is trying to do and what it's de this dedication of this movie is for all that stuff that's good it's just i i gotta be honest they didn't do a good job of portraying that if you want to do a movie about poaching and people that are protecting the you know the animals from the poachers then do that focus that make that the focus of your movie because we have this family that we're focusing on this american family that wants to go on a safari and there's so many instances in this movie where they could have prevented the situation that they end up in and they just don't want to do it because they want to show people rhinos it's just not something that i personally would do and you know i know it's it's a movie i get it i can totally understand it's a movie you know it's not real but when we're having a movie that is not fantasy, you know, not sci-fi, it's set in a real world, real world situations, I can't help but think that, you know, you could have just got a guide and probably none of this would happen, but you wanted to go off the trail and look for a freaking rhino. The biggest problem I have with this movie is just the story. I said before that if they want to just focus on the poaching, they should have just focused on the poaching. They slightly talk about that. There's a little bit to the extent where they're just having poachers as the bad guys chasing the family and that's pretty much it. They do try to put some commentary about like, you know, capitalism and like the oil industry and there's also kind of a thing of like save the environment but they kind of slap that in the face with a scene with like water bottles and plastic bottles where they, somebody has water bottles that are in glass but then they break and then the person's like ha see 
plastic bottles are good. It's just all over the place. I didn't feel like there was really a direction going on with this movie. And you know, you probably were like, well, what can you expect? It's called Endangered Species. Did you see the trailer? Did you see the title? You should probably already know, Anthony. But you know, I just gotta give it a chance. And you know what? If you wanted to see this movie, if you were thinking about seeing this movie and you wanted to see, hey, you know, what are people talking about this movie? Is this good or not? And hopefully you stumbled upon this review and now you know, don't waste your money. Don't waste your money on this movie. But guys, this movie is terrible. Do not watch it. Again, the message is good. I totally support it. It's just not well executed. But guys, let me know what you think of Endangered Species in the comments down below. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Did you even watch this movie? Probably not, but um, here I am. Also guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, do all that stuff. Also check out my Twitter so you can stay up to date with my channel. And remember guys, keep watching movies.